Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. I'm out here today with Lewis, Texas Southpaw Fishing. And today, hopefully, I'll be able to catch a lot of trouts and a lot of flounders. So stay tuned and hopefully you catch me hooking up to a lot of fishes. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so I got a tandem set up here. I'm gonna throw a couple of gulps on. Penny shrimp, chartreuse tail. Work some area and see if we can get some flounders real quick. All right, and we're gonna go with the white shrimp on the next one. So we're gonna double shrimp. I got a feeling that shrimp is gonna be the ticket today. I don't know why, I just, uh, Got that hunch. So we got a tandem going. Hopefully, we'll catch some uh, catch some flaties flaties today. Uh, Lewis just hooked up to one. You know what I always say? Well, there's one. There's probably more. That's a nice flounder. Did you get him? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Fish on, fish on. I don't know what this is. Oh my god. That was a nice one. Oh my god, that was nice. Oh, Lewis. Had to be right around 20 maybe. Yeah, there's a reef right here. Lewis is trying to fish, but um, trying to set anchor, and this wind is just pushing us right over the top of it. Uh, anchor won't set right, so I think we're gonna try to go across and fish the grass line. Uh, hopefully, get some protection from the from the grass over here. So let's just uh, move on to another location and see if we can uh, see if we can hook up. This one is humming, man. It is just humming. I think we've gone 20 minutes and probably only got maybe a quarter of a mile. This headwind is just killing the legs. can't get anything to bite uh, the question is how fresh is this water Black drum. I haven't caught a black drum in forever. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm drumming. Yep. What? What is this? It's like a black drum, huh? Like a. I don't know. It's like a black drum to me. Might have to ask Lewis about this one. His face is different. You know, we're in brackish water. So I'm not too sure what this guy is. I said black drum on it to ask Lewis to see what he thinks this guy is. Whatever he is, he's 19 inches. So we'll get this lipper out. Sorry, we'll get this hook out of his mouth. Caught him on a uh, gulp white pearl shrimp and uh, get this out head over to Lewis and Lewis can tell me what this is yeah 
Wait. It's, it's drumming. It. It's drumming like a drum. I think that's a freshwater drum. I really do. All right, let's take a look at this guy, okay? If anybody out there could tell me. See, look at his mouth. His mouth is real small. Yeah. It looks like a drum, a black drum. But he's not. Might be freshwater. His tail is different. His top fin is different. Look, look, at, his, look at his fins on top. Yeah, that's cool looking. So, never that's caught. Cool. It's a new species for me. And uh, time so I'm gonna let him go. Oh, he was ready. Nice. He was out of the water for a while. There we go. Nice. Oh. <clears throat> oh, this is a nice one. This is a good red, I think. This is a good red. Oh, no. Yeah, come on. Don't get off. Don't get off. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Get in there. Oh, man. Two and a half feet of water. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. You know, the, the question the other day for Lewis and myself, where we kept talking about if this was fresh or salt or brackish and you know i just kept you know just convinced that you know it being brackish water it's, it could hold reds you know because i see people catching reds in brackish water so it's nice to uh to hook up to one unfortunately lewis would never taste the water to see if it was fresh or not <laughs> i offered him a dollar he wouldn't do it for a dollar so i mean that's I'm kind of maxed out at a dollar. But yeah, he wouldn't taste the water. Twenty-three and a half. Twenty-three and a half inch red. Oh my goodness. Big belly. Nice fish. Real pale though. Let's see if we can get that out. Oh, he got off! What was it? A speck! Oh, he was fat! He was probably like around maybe 15, 16 inches. They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't uh, take it bouncing. I was just dragging it. Really? That's how I did this morning when that one I lost. I was just dragging it, so don't bounce it. Huh. I was just dragging it, and that's the same the same spot. On, uh, yeah, that penny. Oh, you know what? He's gonna be shy. I thought he was bigger than that. He looked bigger than the net. Is he? No, he's 14 and a half. You want him? He's skinny. Yeah. Now nah, that'll make it. Oh, you know what? He's like 14 and a quarter. That'll make it. Real skinny little guy. Don't let him go. This one's better. Not bouncing them, you know, just dragging on the bottom. You know, it seemed like you didn't want, you bounced, didn't want it. So, dragging on the bottom, boom, took it. White gulp. Fifteen and a half. It's a little bigger, still not that big one I lost, but still a nice keeper. Fifteen and a half, so eating eating well, nice and uh, nice big belly on them.
baby. Got a baby. Tiny. Baby guy. Everyone, thanks for watching. That's gonna do it for me today. Came out today with Lewis, Texas Southpaw Fishing. Check him out, his link is below. Um, today came out, pretty windy day, threw a lot of tandem lures, hooked up to some some flounders, it was fun. Caught a mystery fish, not too sure what that fish is. Um, I'm gonna go home and check it out. Also ended up with a nice red. Came out to a new spot with Lewis, so had a lot of fun. I'll definitely come back here again and come out here and fish with Lewis again. But um, don't forget to check him out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Let you know next time upload a video. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.